Hello guys, thank you for joining me again for another video. If you are not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button before you leave. If you are a subscriber, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. I love you so much guys, love you so much. Today's video is due for eye-end makeup. Like, can you tell which part is my eye-end makeup part and which part is the affordable low-end makeup? Can you tell guys? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> I will leave you guessing for you to go check out this video. I decided to pick up the challenge and do it on my channel and give myself a challenge to see how my affordable makeup are just as good as my high-end makeup. Like all these brands are just killing it with their quality, inexpensive makeup they are bringing out. Came too much on this video. If you want to see how I slay my face, with eye end on one side and affordable on the other side. Stay tuned, guys. I always use cheap brow pencil for my brows, like affordable brow pencil. This is just one pound, guys. This side, I end, this side, affordable. For the I end side, I'll be using my Bro Bar to go from Gerard Cosmetic. Affordable side, I'll be using my W7 Bro Bar Eyeshadow. They both look similar, which is nice. As to clean up the brow, I'll be using Two different concealer. For the iron side, I'm using my MAC Prolong Well Concealer in NC45. And for the other side, for the affordable side, I'll be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun. And I'll blend it out. To prime my eyes, I'll be using the Too Faced Primer for the eye and side side. Too Faced Primer. Beauty Bay Primer for the affordable side. Prolong Wear Concealer for the eye and side. I'll just use this as the base for the eyes. Then apply the LA Girl Concealer on the other eyes. Morphe W7 palette. Makeup Revolution Go to Hair palette. So I'm going to be using this for the inexpensive side. With makeup revelation eyeshadow the pigment is amazing this smoothie eyeshadow just look dead just a neutral color to just set my brow on okay guys for eyeliner for the eye inside i'll be using my pure mineral eyeliner for my inexpensive side i'll be using my mua eyeliner using my Caitlyn J eyeliner on the eye inside using my Maybelline gel eyeliner on the inexpensive side okay guys to prime my face I'll be using my Mary Kay face primer on the eye inside the inside of my face they are both silicone based primer and Maybelline baby skin primer 
for the affordable sides. For foundation, for the expensive side, I'll be using my Becca foundation. For the inexpensive side, I'll be using my Royal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Becca foundation is amazing, guys. Like, it's one of my favorite high-end foundation. foundation they both dry matte so for me if I can get a cheap drugstore affordable foundation that is amazing I will go with it I'll leave the expensive foundation alone now to highlight my face I'll be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 for the eye inside and for the inexpensive side my LA Girl Pro Concealer in front Then I'll take the brush I use in my foundation, then blend that out. Can you tell any difference? For the inexpensive side, I will use my Avon Translucent Powder. For the iron side, I will use my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. They both look the same. Like if you just pat it in and don't bake, they look the same. Okay guys, to so set my face, I'll be using my MAC Studio Face Powder in NW45 and I'll be using my BH Cosmetic Pro Powder in the shade 250 for my inexpensive side. So for the iron side, I'll take my ebony bronzer. And I'll take my Sasha Butter Pop setting powder to just clean that up. Apply the bronzer at the side of my nose. For the inexpensive side, I'll be using the City Color Blush. Then taking that setting powder from Avon. Then for blush, for the iron side, I'll be using my Mirabella blush. I'll be using this blush from H&M. Inexpensive side, I'm going to use my Avon highlighter. And for the iron side, I'm going to be using my Modeco eyeliner. For the iron side of my eyes, I'll be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. For the inexpensive side of my eyes, I'll be using my Big Eye Mascara from Maybelline. right here is a sample from benefit this is the benefit high beam and this one is from body collection bronzing highlighter and it's a liquid highlighter on the highest parts of my cheekbone this will just add as a base for the highlighter i'll be applying next and i'll be blending it out with my finger it has a natural glow to it like This is the expensive one and this is the inexpensive one they both do the same thing they just give me this nice 
natural glow like to highlight my face even more to make me shine bright like a diamond i end part of my face i'll be using my gerard cosmetic sap powder in the shade merlin For the inexpensive side of my face, I'll be using my Makeup Revolution Viva Baked Highlighter in Golden Light. Look at inexpensive highlighter. I'm going to be doing two lip colors for you guys so that you will see the two together. You pick the one you like and tell me at the comment section which is your favorite lip color. I'm going to use so okay guys for the first lip combo I have my Gerard cosmetic lipstick and I have a lipstick from MUA which is just one pound it's from Gerard cosmetic this one is from MUA then for the inexpensive side but they both look very similar so let's change the lips I'll be lining my lips with my cheap affordable lip liner then for lipstick I'll be using my Gerard Cosmetic Lipstick on the eye inside of my lip and I'll be using my Milani Lipstick on the affordable side of my lips. This is the Gerard Cosmetic one and this is the Milani one. These Gerard Cosmetic Lipstick are matte and they are very dry. Very, very dry. Oh my God, I love the Milani one. It's very, very creamy, very creamy. But it's matte, it dries matte. More on the Gerard Cosmetic. There you have it. Can you tell it's any different? They are both similar, guys. So similar. 